The internet may be the single greatest invention in all of our history. At the tip of our fingers is basically every bit of information, song, video, picture, or game ever created. You can video call people from around the world, buy anything you need in a single click. This device has been used to topple dictatorships, to spread democracy, and of course, to evangelize the good news. There is no doubt that the internet has done good things and that it can be used for incredible purposes by some people. But I'm not concerned with the internet as a concept or social media for other people. What about you? If you were to look at your life as it is today, where you are right now, can you say that you are better off with the internet and social media? Are you happier with TikTok in your life? Are you more fulfilled with access to Instagram? Does Facebook build virtue in you? Are you mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually edified by your time spent on YouTube? For some of you, the answer is yes. You use these tools at your disposal to spread joy and truth, to connect with loved ones, to learn about the wonders of creation, to be the sort of voice we need in this world. That's fantastic. If that's you, please keep up the good work. For the rest of you, I know that social media can have quite the opposite effect. For some of you, social media is a source of tremendous mental and emotional anguish. Many people, especially young girls, experience body dissatisfaction, appearance anxiety, lower self-esteem, and depression. An hour on here is enough to send you into a downward spiral. For some of you, social media is an outlet for anger and aggression. It's a place to bully, hate, stalk, and even condemn. It hurts me to my core to see people claiming to be Christian, saying words that they would never speak in real life. You may have an anonymous account, but judgment and condemnation are still sins, and God knows who you are. For some of you, it is a place to be troubled by and even distribute misinformation. The most sensational, controversial, divisive things get the most traction on social media, meaning that fear spreads, lies are magnified, and fringe opinions are given a spotlight. Social media is not for the gullible or the faint of heart. For some of you, it is a dopamine addiction that always craves more, but is never fulfilled. Hours and hours of scrolling, minor hits of enjoyment, momentary doses to numb the pain, and then the guilt, the shame, the emptiness. Where has the time gone? For many of you, it is an all-access pass to any lustful desire you can dream up. There, with no need for imagination, is anything and everything that can be seen, so much of which can never be unseen. And all the while, with all of these vices, there is not only the negative effect that social media is having on you, but the absence of virtue that could be growing in its place if time wasn't being wasted. I mean the books that could be read, the relationships that could be nourished, the adventures in nature that could be walked, the prayers that could be prayed. When we try to evaluate the fruitfulness of our actions, it is not enough to look at the effects they have on us. We must also consider what we could be doing in their place. Is there something else, something better that we could be doing with our lives? And so I ask you in no uncertain terms, maybe the most important question you'll answer today. Does social media make you a holier person, bringing you closer to the salvation of the kingdom of heaven or not? Again, if yes, keep it up. There are incredible resources and opportunities that we have in our age that can be tremendously helpful and you should use them to your advantage. These things can be used for good, but if not, if you find that social media is at best making your life mildly less happy and at worst getting in the way of your salvation, then please listen when I tell you, sign off. Get rid of it, delete your account, remove your profile, do not log in again. If this thing is causing you to move further away from Christ, it should be the easiest decision of your life to walk away and never turn back. Jesus says so much to his disciples. In the Sermon on the Mount, in Matthew's Gospel, he exhorts us, if your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. Cut it off. It doesn't matter if everyone else is doing it. It doesn't matter if it provides some entertainment and makes you feel better occasionally. It doesn't matter if it makes your life easier. If it is causing you to sin, if it is causing you to risk your salvation, it's not worth it. There is nothing more important than your salvation. Nothing. I know this sounds obvious, but so often we forget it. We bargain our future because we're so focused on the present, so caught up in the world the way it is that we forget the way it should be, how we should be. 
As Lent approaches, I cannot think of a better practice than to take a serious look at your life on social media and to make some big adjustments. For some of you, this might mean recognizing the particular temptations that social media puts in your life and changing your approach. Maybe you don't struggle with lust, but you do struggle with self-esteem. Maybe you're fine with time management, but you become uncharitable in your comments. For a few days, do an examination of conscience after you've been on your phone for a little while and see if anything comes up. Maybe the whole experience isn't a waste. There might be some really fruitful aspects of it all but you might find that there are certain things that you need to do better, certain things that need some extra attention this Lent. For others of you, it might mean cutting it off completely, maybe for 40 days as a test, maybe for good, but huge changes need to be made. As wonderful as the internet can be and the benefits it can offer some, if it's not causing you to grow in holiness, then there is no point getting anywhere near it. Some people can drink alcohol responsibly with no negative effect to their soul, some people just can't. It takes humility and courage to realize you are in the latter group. Do you have the humility to admit that you have a problem? Do you have the courage to do what you need to do? I'm talking about the major issues of social media, but I'm also talking about any major issue, anything that keeps you from Christ. It doesn't matter if it's TikTok, alcohol, watching sports, eating certain foods, going to certain places, being around certain people. If it causes you to sin, if it causes you to turn from God, then you need to cut it off. Rather be welcomed into heaven with only one hand and no smartphone than into Gehenna with every app you can imagine. If you have something keeping you from heaven, now is the time to cut it off. Do not wait until it is too late.